on. Good morning, my wonderful friends, followers, my awesome subscribers, and my impeccable members. Thank you very much for continuing to support me on this channel. It means a lot. But as I always say, if you're watching this right now and you've not yet subscribed, why not? It's free. Okay, people, um, today is a, uh, wow, a date which sticks in my mind, and it should stick in everyone's mind. Uh, well, it's Wednesday, September the 11th, 9-11, 23 years ago. Um, the most heinous crime, not on earth, because that was done by the Nazis against the Jews, but the most heinous crime to date was done um, on the American people and people that worked in the Twin Towers in the US. 2,977 people perished as a result of that attack on the Twin Towers and it sent the world onto a war of terror. Um, it resulted in me uh, deploying as a commander with my men uh, on foreign soils to fight a foreign enemy. Uh, and I did that for about, wow, for 15 years after that, constantly deploying on wars on terror. Um, hmm. On a day like today, it's a day of reflection, isn't it? A day of, to think about, think about the world. In my opinion, evil is winning on a planet. Evil is winning. Seems like that anyway, doesn't it? Feels like that. Yeah. Over here in the UK, our UK Prime Minister yesterday released 1,700 uh, prisoners onto the streets of the United Kingdom that had caused crimes in the past without informing, without informing the victims that had been victim to these people that have just been released back on the streets. Sending panic in different areas. In fact, a thug that blinded a baby got released yesterday. Uh, a thug that killed a young boy with a knife got released yesterday. There was reporters at the different places to catch people leaving. And I actually seen a video clip of a guy being interviewed and going, well, do you think you'll re-offend? He went, huh, I'm of course I'm going to re-offend. It's what I do. So there we go. Um, not, not a good judge of character to let these people out on the streets. But there we go. It is what it is, people, unfortunately. Yeah. Those that voted him in should be ashamed of themselves. In fact, yesterday, I actually, was it last night? Last night, I watched a clip in the House of Commons where they walked up and they gave the yeas and the nays. And guess what? Labour has taken away winter fuel allowments for our pensioners. They've done it. They've done it. Shameful. Absolutely shameful. The people that built this country are the ones being, in my way, uh, in my opinion, the people that built this country are the ones being punished. I mean, we're taking off hardworking people and pensioners and we're giving it to people that have added no value to this country that are coming, from a, that are coming for a freebie. I don't understand it. I really don't. We should really ask Germany for 500 million, which is 200 million shy of what we've given into Rwanda for what we've built there. If the Germans are going to use it, then let them pay for it. I think it's shameful. But I can't help thinking in the back of my mind that Sir Keir Starmer deliberately gave it to Germany as a goodwill gesture towards U e the European Union. It's just my opinion. You may disagree with it, but there we go. Yes, and I'm going to say thank you to you that watched my video last night with the Princess of Wales, the one I put up on, on well, on this platform. Um, yeah, and I'm still a little bit stunned. Um, I'm, I'm stunned with the amount of subscribers I have that are going through or have been through chemotherapy or know someone that's went through it. I mean, wow, I was stunned, taken back by it. And I read all your messages and yeah. I hope your health improves. That's all I can say. Wow. <sighs> a man that sent Labour's Jess Phillips, who's in the Labour Party, a man who sent her an email telling her, I hope you burn in hell, has also been jailed. 
Wow! Also being jailed. Wow. Will I let you know? Will I? Will I? Okay, I will. The account on Twitter that was was called not Trevor Colt MC, believe it or not, is currently in a police station. I will get every one of you. Oh, and as we're talking about that, I want to point this out. I, I need to point this out for my own... For my own benefit? Yeah, right. There is an individual out there making videos and posting nonsense on Twitter, the platform X, and I would like to clarify this with all of you. I think most people with a brain understand this is true now. I do not have a Facebook account, which means I am not on Facebook, which means I cannot post stuff on Facebook. I don't even have the Facebook app on my phone. Secondly, I am not on Twitter. I do not have a Twitter account, which means I am not posting on Twitter. I don't even have the app on my phone. I don't even check them. I'm not even on them. So if someone is posting to you and letting you know that I'm he's doing this and he's doing I'm not. I'm not. I'm nearly 50. I'm I don't go down that road of nonsense. If I have something to say, I do it here on my daily rant. I do not do it in any other platform, okay? If you go onto my Instagram, it's just for posting photographs and shit. It's for nothing else than that. So it's, it's, I don't understand why people make up this narrative. And I will point this out. Um, an individual, and I've had to do this, I used to have a private account on my, a private chat on my Instagram for my members. We had a chat in there. Yeah. And I've cancelled it and I've deleted the chat. And the reason being is this, and I will point this out. A YouTuber, which is causing a storm right now, had been posting that she, I know someone in Trevor's chat and she's screenshotting the conversations for me. I mean, that's a despicable act, if I'm honest. So I just got rid of the conversation. And yesterday I did have, a, I had a lovely phone call yesterday with Steph the Elder Nerd. I had a phone call with Sue. And I'm going to be honest with you. Let me just point this out. I... I'm not endorsing what they did. I do not like what they did, but I want to put it out there. I am not going to stand by and have thousands of people attack them on behalf of another YouTuber and think that's right. That in itself is bullying. And that is where, even though I've had a confrontation in the past with Steph, I'm willing to take a stand in front of her and Sue and go, that's enough. That's all I'm doing. That's enough. Leave them alone. They've had enough. I'm glad I got that off my chest. Just want to make that quite clear. Just because you stand and you stick up for someone doesn't mean you support the actions that they've done. Okay, you have to realise that. I I spend my life standing in front of the firing line, taking shit, and I'll do it again. I don't I don't mind. As I said before, um, I don't mind people le people leaving my platform. I I'm willing to lose tens of thousands of because I don't care. But I'm not going to stand by and watch two women being destroyed. I think it's wrong. So there we go. What they did was wrong, but what other people are doing towards them is wrong. And that'll be the end of it. Just want to put that out there. Right, what else have we got here? I've done a bit that, done a bit that, done a bit that, done a bit that. Oh, wow. Did you see the live debate last night between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris? Did you see that? Oh my God. It was it was shocking in, in a way. Um, uh, they both had a go at each other, clearly. But what I did notice... And if you do go and watch it, go and watch it. What I did notice from what I've seen, what I've seen, I've seen about 10 different clips, didn't watch the whole thing, just watched loads of main things. When Kamala Harris was talking, Donald Trump stayed silent and he just sort of went, and he let her speak. But whenever he responded, she was like, me, 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 and he was like, can you let me speak? It's my turn now. Right. She threw everything at Donald Trump. She just tried to destroy his character, right? She did. That was She was destroying his character. He was like, well, that's right, I have. Yep, I am under investigation of the FBI, but that's because you've weaponized the FBI. You've done all these cases against me. You've threw all these things at me. He says, I've been cleared on that one. I've been cleared on that one. I've been cleared on that one. He says, I'm still going through that one, but that's going to be cleared. She was trying, and you're a sexual predator. Well, actually, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, that slander, you can't just say that. You have to have proof. So um, she then, he said, well, you're making all these promises. What you're going to do when you're president? 
Yep. But you're currently the vice president. You've been the vice president for three and a half years. If you think these are great ideas, why haven't you achieved any of these things yet? Why haven't you done them? And she's like, uh, uh, I mean, and if you vote for Donald Trump, uh, he's going to have taxes on American goods. He just stood there and went, and then when he got to speak again, he went, I think you'll find that I do not put any taxes on American goods to be sold to American people. I put tariffs on stuff coming from overseas. I mean, I thought it was a great debate. Uh, Russell Brand uh, did the whole thing live. I watched part of it on there, actually. Um, but as I said, and I'll always say this, America's got over 300 million citizens. Um, who's the best president for America? Probably someone that doesn't want to be the president from America. A lot of people don't want to get involved because politics is quite toxic. But um, out of the two candidates, Trump and Harris, uh, in my opinion, Trump's the better candidate. Um, there we go. I always wondered why, and this is in the back of my mind, I always wondered why Michelle Obama didn't throw her hat in the ring, if you know what I mean. I wonder why she didn't put herself forward. Maybe she doesn't want the stress. Maybe her husband's been there. She's probably seen the stress. Maybe she knows what it goes. I mean, her husband, yeah. So, yeah, but I, I think that she would have been a better candidate than Kamala Harris, in my opinion, but I'm just saying. Anyway, listen, people, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for becoming members. I do appreciate it. Um, for those of you that jumped on the bandwagon and said Trevor only does YouTube for money, I think everyone knows that I've done YouTube for two years without being paid a single penny and I do it because I enjoy it. I do it because I love having a chat and I love getting with my PTSD. There's nothing better than getting all the rubbish off your chest and getting it out there and it makes you feel better for the day. Set you up for the day. Thanks to those that watched me and Charlie yesterday and uh, we will do another one next week actually. I've spoke to Charlie already. Uh, been good. Um, I said to Charlie whenever... We were doing it. If we get 500 views, that's 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 a positive, mate. That's a positive. And I think it's had 2,000 views. So it's it's been really well received. So we will continue to do those as long as you continue to want to watch it. But listen, thanks for your support. Thanks for standing with me. Remember, stay safe and have a wonderful day.